Hello. Good morning. Welcome back to... Uh, three months later. <laughs> yeah, it's only been three months. Gosh, yeah, it has been that long, hasn't it? So, um, where should we start? Well, with? first is a massive, heartfelt, overwhelmed thank you to everyone that supported us through this time. There's been so many messages of support. The GoFundMe was absolutely incredible and... Well, I mean, uh, the GoFundMe was nothing short of astonishing. Yeah, um, so thank you so, so, your support. so much. Uh, unbelievable. And this is the reason why we're not in the van. You can see we are actually sitting on a sofa and there's a wall and there's Charlotte's um, actual My Easter tree. Easter tree. <laughs> but yeah, look, I'm going to leave you with Charlotte to explain the situation of what started, you know, what happened um, and how this all came about. So on the 8th of January, I became ill and it was a surprise to me because I've not been ill in about five years. <laughs> so I kind of thought it was just the flu. And so I lay in bed feeling a bit sorry for myself for a few days. And then all of a sudden I got really sick. Um, I started well, I started hallucinating. Rob told me this because I didn't really know at the time. And I couldn't breathe very well. And yeah, hallucinating and saying all kinds of bizarre things, which isn't, to be fair, unusual for me. But yeah, in that situation it was. I deteriorated so badly over a kind of a period of two hours or so, something like that, a couple of hours. So Rob and Amy took the decision to get me to hospital. I don't remember much about it but I remember being whisked away very, very quickly. Lots and lots of tests and uh, oxygen administered. In the early hours of the morning, it was decided that they, they discovered that I had Legionella. I'd caught Legionnaire's disease. I was then transferred because they couldn't deal with me. They couldn't deal with what I had wrong with me at that particular hospital. So yeah, I was transferred to the intensive care unit of a main hospital. And that was absolutely terrifying. Uh, Amy and Rob were following me frantically behind in the van. Everything moved kind of fast after that, kind of quickly. I was had all kinds of lines put in me and oxygen. And yeah, they told me then. So, so before I had Legionella's and it was really serious. They were going to put me on in a medically induced coma the next morning. That was absolutely terrifying. When Amy and Rob finally arrived at the hospital because they had a tire blowout on the way so that was useful um, but I wasn't really aware of it I was just had so many things going on at that point I wasn't really aware but I knew they were gonna have to be told and that actually was probably more upsetting than anything particularly because I knew that Amy had been through a lot with my mum and I knew it was gonna bring back bad things I knew it was gonna bring back really 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 traumatic events for her um, but anyway Tubed up, ventilated on a machine that I thought I was going to bloody die on and suffocate on because I'm claustrophobic and it was over my face. But anyway, I knew I was where I needed to be and the next few hours were going to be crucial. I had quite, he well, I had very heavy doses of medication, antibiotics, and I started hallucinating really, really badly. And that was a bit scary. That went on. I was in the intensive care unit, I think, for about four days. Um, with but luckily I had kind of improved enough during one of the nights to not require the coma so that was a huge huge relief because yeah as you can imagine that's quite terrifying to hear that and yeah I was taken off the the extra oxygen and then I continued to improve What's amazing is how quickly you deteriorate. Even after a few days in bed, I couldn't even stand up. And there was a lot of concern with, from the doctors with how I was going to be released back in, kind of into a camper van situation rather than a, a set home where you've got your bed and whatever you need. It could be made easier. A van was just not gonna be a viable option, certainly for the first few weeks of um, recuperation. So yeah, hence, all you lovely people helping um, helped us to fund some Airbnb or an Airbnb 
so that I could recover because yeah I couldn't even stand up. Uh, when I went left the hospital Amy had to support me to walk me out to the van. Well she has finally been dismissed. You're discharged not dismissed. Here she is. That I then had after a few days later, I started having um, bad side effects from the antibiotics and stuff that I was on. I actually couldn't even walk, my, all my joints swelled up. They've now subsided, but it's taken all this time for me to actually feel like my body's back to normal again. Um, psychologically, it's probably going to take a little bit longer, but you know, I'll work through that. I know I've physically recovered, so mentally will come in time. But yeah, it was a very, very scary disease, or very, very scary time. Not something I ever expected to catch. <laughs> but it is what it is, Charlotte has recovered physically now. Um, the last pain left you about three days ago, so mm -hmm. four days ago. So it's it's now time for us to think about getting back in the van. B&Bs are super expensive down here and there's no way we can continue living in Airbnbs. But it's been bloody lovely, isn't it, to be honest? Yeah. <laughs> The oven and the big fridge the, have been highlights. Yeah. As sad as that sounds. We have been roast dinner after roast dinner after roast dinner. <laughs> roast vegetables, roasting like everything. Having an oven, it's the first time we've had an oven in two years, you know, two, over two years, two, two and, and a half, half years, years nearly. Two and a half years. But there's a garden out the back here which is flooded. Um, a week ago, with a major flood we had down here, I might show you a bit of that. But the dogs have been loving it, haven't yeah. they? You know, they've had a garden to go out into plenty Without of space. Without having to have a lead on or anything. Yeah, so. just, just free to go out. Mm -hmm. there's, there's been dramas here as well, you know? I was here and the, the next door neighbour's dog decided it didn't want to stay in his back garden, jumped over the fence and went and killed two chickens in the, in the next door neighbour's garden there. So that was pretty dramatic. And Gigi escaped under yeah, the fence. Yeah, Gigi escaped and Amy got, you know, Got cut and Pole. covered in mud. <laughs> Bolted over the uh, <laughs> over the what, meter and a half yeah. high fence. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what have we been doing to um, pass the time? When I started recovering, when I was starting my recovery, my brain kind of wasn't there, or my memory, whatever, wasn't there, and so I couldn't really concentrate on reading, couldn't concentrate on crosswords, on Sudoku, anything like that. So I took to doing something that I did like doing before, which is kind of hand sewing things. I like saying. In the van it's a little bit complicated because of the lack of space and with dogs jumping every three seconds on you and with needles it's it's not very relaxing and fun. So I took advantage of being in a larger space and I did some a bit of sewing which I really actually enjoyed and remembered how much I liked so I made a jacket. Well I didn't make the jacket, embellished it um, yeah. which I thought was fun. It kind of indulged my sparkly requirements in life. For me, there's been something I've been thinking about, a, a channel I wanted to create on YouTube for the last two years, but I've never really had the balls to do it really. But having the time in the flat, having the headspace to be able to, to, to think about it and actually put something together, I've finally done it. So, at this point, I'm just going to introduce Amelise because she's going to have a big part in this new channel as well. I'm, I'm incredibly excited about it, and I hope you guys will be too. So, Amy. Hello. Okay. So first, let's give you an idea about what the new channel is going to be all about. So I think Top Gear meets I'm a Celebrity meets Van Life that kind of vibe. So the new channel is going to be called the Camper Van Challenge. Original. Well, it kind of hits all the bases, you know. And you are all invited to join us. I will leave a link in the description. So if you wanted to go and subscribe to it now, you're more than welcome. Okay, and the reason why I'm standing here and speaking about this is because this new channel will be hosted by me. And you, mostly me, and sometimes my mother, mostly me. So it's gonna be great, obviously. Is that me? Hey, yes, you again. 
Each episode, wait, fuck. Each episode, <laughs> three contestants. Okay. okay. So it. just so you know, I, I'm going to put a, a little extras thing at the end of this video for all the outtakes of us doing this. So make sure you tune in for that. Each episode will involve three contestants and their trusty campers, challenges, trials. It's going to be crazy. If you want to participate in the new channel, uh, applications are not open just yet. I have done the form and everything's ready to go, but you'll have to tune in next week to find out the application process. However, I'm doing none of the background work. He's doing everything. So yeah, much. he's going to need some, some trusty assistance. So uh, if you want to you wanna say your piece, because I got, I got better things to do, not gonna lie. Okay. So. Door is that way. Excellent, thank you. Hope you go, say goodbye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, organizing something like this is a very tricky and time consuming thing. And I am not the best at all of this sort of stuff. It is new to me. So if you are in a position that you could possibly help out with certain things, um, would really appreciate it, really appreciate it. So things that I could do with a little bit of help with, um, number one is someone French, not Charlotte. Um, someone that actually lives in France to help us with research and finding certain things that we need. So. If you are that um, a sort of person, then please get in contact. There is a email in the description for people that want to help us out or are in the position to. Another thing we could really do with is someone that's good at designing stuff on computers, like a logo for the channel. Um, if you have that sort of um, expertise or maybe you you just know your way around a computer, then that would be great too. Another thing as well is I have designed websites before, but um, anybody that would like to work with me to help you know, design a, a little website for the channel, that would also be appreciated. I could probably do it myself, but I'm not that brilliant at it. So. Have you seen the site of your website? My website's iconic. You've done it. Yeah. Go and have a look. I'm proud of that. Aminavan.com. Uh, just go and have a look. At least I have a website. Anyway, shut up. So, um, also, if you are in marketing, um, like social media, we could do with someone that could help with that side of um, the channel as well. Also, um, we are looking for volunteers to become crew. Um, you know, filming and putting everything together is quite difficult as well, um, being two people as well as presenting. So if you have that experience and helping, or you just want to have a fun time for a, a, a few days, then um, you know, get in contact, let us know. It will be filmed in the, the south of France. So, you know, if you are, French and living in the south of France, then you know maybe that would be the best option. Um, but if not, if you're in the UK and you fancy a, a drive down to the south of France to come and help us out, then brilliant. So yes, that is pretty much about it um, for now. Um, if you can help us out with any of those um, those sites, please get in contact via the email in the description marked help. Then we would really love to hear from you. Okay, so. Let's get back to Charlotte on the sofa. Airbnb is coming to an end and we've got to go back in the van, which I can't say I'm 100% keen on, but needs must. And at least we do have a van. But it needs a little bit of a rehaul because it's been used as a bit of a storage area in the last, you know, the last while. It's um, a shit pit right now. <laughs> it's, it's had things thrown in. Um, there's bike racks in there. There's all kinds of stuff in there that really wouldn't make it very comfortable to live in right at this moment. So. We're gonna to have to have a big clear out, a spring clean, and a spruce up off the van. No, I'm spruce kind of, up. Well, I'm kind of sick to death of the cupboards, but. Yeah, uh, so what, we, what we're gonna do is. Take, actually, no, it's the handles I'm sick to death of. What we're gonna do is, whilst we're here, 
just spruce up the van a little bit, fresh coat of paint, new handles, possibly some new upholstery, new flooring that we want to try and get because that one's absolutely That's had its thing now. Well, um, after the winter it's had, yeah. Yeah, it's all ripped up and stuff. So we're going to go and do that. So you're more than welcome to join us. Um, we're going to go and find some new stuff for our van. So let's go. Oh, you've got this one right here, which is old load. Like, looks like old No, place. don't like that. No? All right, well, that's not looking too bad. But we now need to go and try and find some paint. Ah, yeah, why the fuck no. not? Hey, look. Not. Why not? I don't want Why not? I, I want to go with the grass. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, which okay. colour are you going to go for? Oh, God, no. Oh, fuck. Really? I want kind of like a, a retro 60s, kind of 50s, 60s type thing. Whether mm. or not we're going to get that's another matter and whether or not it's going to, going to make the van just completely claustrophobic is another matter too. Mint. That one. That one. Will it go with the blue as well? Yes. The, the, the problem we've got is that we still want to keep the blue tiles. Yeah, we, don't, we can't get rid of those. We're not getting rid of those. So whatever colour we choose, got to go with that. Let me show you the mint. Yeah. That's, that's the colour we've got. Well, it's a, sort of the mint. Something that's not the same colour as the Fiat that I always wanted. Oh shit, you wear chop and change. We're going to be here like three quarters of an hour just trying to find the colour. Oh! Oh, come on, wouldn't it be fun? No. The dogs can piss on it. Well, at least here we've got the possibility of flooring and definitely paint. There's loads of choice of paint. Flooring, maybe. But at least we know we can get two of the main things here. Hmm. All right, so back in the van, um, <clears throat> a couple of really good options there. So we have actually narrowed down to either yellow or that mint. Yeah. Okay, so pink's out of the question. It won't, go with the, blue, it won't go with the blue tiles. No, so. pink will never go with the blue tiles. Yeah, and you won't like the uh, uh, No, it just I'll wouldn't. Reserve that would just be I've such got, a clash. I'll I mean, reserve yeah. that when I've got a house again one day. Yeah, oh God. Um, okay, well look, we're going to go on to the next place now, which is just up the road here, called Jiffy and see what's in there, so let's do that. Oh, I'm still quite keen on the grass though, darling. You know, you know you like to do one pan cooking? Yeah. What about that one? You better cook everything you need in that, right? This is the reason why sometimes it's better just to make your own stuff because shop bought stuff sometimes ain't all that you know all right well that was uh, rather unsuccessful for anything we're looking at no paint in there no flooring mm -hmm. a couple of little things that could be useful but other than that we're moving on Okay, so this is be the last stop for us, and uh, we'll see what Mr. Bricolage has. So let's go and have a look. Hey, handles. No gold. Oh, does it have to be gold? Yes. You got to choose last time. Yeah, but my choice was absolutely awesome. No, it the wasn't. The blue handles broke. were fantastic. They yeah, but they looked amazing. It doesn't matter. They smashed. They still, they looked amazing. No, they don't. And they're not all. They're not like all smashed. No, but it doesn't matter. I only need one to be smashed and it's ruined and then you cut my hand on it, so. What about wooden ones? Mm, no. 
Okay. All right. Well, maybe well, at least not. They had, at least they had handles. Why don't you get spray paint them? Well, that's not a bad shout, but the rings have soon screwed them up. Well, well you can not spray it, except that spraying gold. Okay, well let's get some let's get some cheap handles and then spray paint and gold. Yes, that'll do. Is that gonna work though with the colour and the blue? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, we'll pick one. Pick? So if we can spray paint this one gold then that'd be the job, right? So let's do that. I'm gonna buy one handle, unless they come in pairs. Do they come in pairs? Oh no, I can buy one. So I'm gonna buy one handle, pot of spray paint, see what happens. Well, I'm gonna be needing some sandpaper. I mean, they've got gold. Yeah, they've got gold spray there. You can get it in paint. Bloody hell, that's expensive. 20 bloody euros. You robbing bastards. I don't have to get it. Find it somewhere else. It's not urgent now. No, I get it. You don't need that much of it. Probably Amy will get in her hands on this after we've used it. Exactly. Whatever's left, so she'll yeah, find it use for it. So. They do flooring in here. Yeah? I've got to say, I'm a little bit concerned about the colour scheme right now, but I'm going to go with it. Yeah, it's better on that than on that. So what do you think? You got this one here. Which is like a pistache. Or this one here. This one I like or prefer than this one. No, okay. One. So it's yeah. that one there. Yeah. Two of them. Two of those. One, two. Oh, it's two on the shelf as well. Oh. Hey. There you go. Okay. Happy days. Yep. Should we go? That makes much more sense. Oh look, more grass. Yeah. <laughs> right, anyway, let's go and pay and get out of here. Okay, so we're back at the handles because we've got a dilemma. I decided that, you know what, it's better off we just buy all the handles now, just in case they sell out. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad we did because... I thought, hold on a minute, have they even got 14 handles in stock? And they didn't. Because we're going to spray paint them now, it doesn't really matter. So we're looking at the wooden ones down here and it looks like there's enough of them. So we've got these, which I think spray painted will probably look a lot nicer, actually. Um, have we got enough of these? Uh, 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 seven, eight, nine. It's like for fuck's sake. Okay, well there's not enough of those either. Okay, so, so well, unless you take those. Maybe we just ask someone and say, look, have you got enough of these? Charlotte's spoken to a member of staff here and they're gonna order some more in. Because I've still got to paint the van, which is gonna take a while. Spray paint these, see what they look like. And then we can come back and pick up the others. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so back in the van. I'll tell you what, having a house and having to do this with lots of different bedrooms, kitchen, bathrooms, and sorting all this sort of stuff out, it takes so long. <laughs> and we don't even well. scratch, it does, it does. I mean, how much would you spend in there? Well over 100 euros. That's but, why we own. <laughs> We're not gonna do it every year. Mm -hmm. it every, well, every year's coming up. It's two and a half, three years. Yeah, so that's okay, it's not. Three years. Yeah, and it does need to be done because a couple of you yeah. know, it's, showing, it's showing some. It very much needs to. Signs of wear. It so. is our house, so you know. Anyway, um, hopefully you've um, enjoyed our our welcome back and uh, had an update on Charlotte, which has been uh, obviously uh, due. And to repeat again, thank you so so much for all the support you've given to all of us. It's been absolutely unbelievable and yeah. so so very much needed and appreciated so thank you don't know what we'd have done without you to no. be honest unless that's the truth yeah. uh don't know what we'd have done not so so thank you so yes you're all our, our little guardian angels but look we'll see you again next week there'll be more on the new channel so we'll see you again next week well we will be doing a video this week we will because I've, yes. I've, I've, I've got a load, I've got a shit, so I've just realised the amount of work I've actually got to do in the back. I'm trying to organise a new channel, and now I've got to paint this thing. What am I doing? You can paint it. With these nails? So you can still hold a paintbrush. Yeah, so I've got all this to do and organise this show, but we will definitely see you again next week, so. Well, don't promise definitely. We hope to with everything yeah we hope to see you next week <laughs> unless okay. i can unless i can find something else to get in trouble with 
<laughs> yeah, no, don't do that. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hello. Oh, I'm out of fucking screen. Hold on. Hello. Alright, what's next? <laughs> um, so first, let's um, let's give you the idea of the new channel. Oh, I need to read this fucking script. So think top. <laughs> yes. Got the script now. So even doing scripts now. I mean, you know. So. Thank you. The chat. The reason why I'm speaking. <laughs> this new channel will be hosted by none other than. <laughs> I can't say that to it. The new channel. No. Each episode will involve three contestants. <laughs> As you can see, we're not used to working with scripts. You gave this you know? to me two minutes ago. I can't even read your writing. I don't <laughs> work with scripts. Each episode. Wait, fuck. Each episode. <laughs> three Each episode. Oh, for fuck's sake! I keep forgetting that word because I can't read it. Involve. Involve. Well. Come back in five minutes. She's just. Do you want me to read it out for you? For... One second. Say guru, you say goddess. Sounds weird. Guru? You say goddess. Goddess. Okay. <laughs> I'll have to start that completely again. <laughs> so, uh, preferably I'm um, looking... You're meant to have gone out the door. What are you doing? Just for Look around Just a bit. Just get out there. Let me get my computer because there might be some more things. Um, the computer. Okay, fuck off. Thank you.